Yo, what's up? Today I'll be doing June, June Kazuma, June Kazama, whatever. So, mm. okay. So I'm gonna start off about uh, the playstyle, and June's playstyle is pretty similar to Zafina. They both. Uh, good whiff punishers, raw tag punishers, uh, they both good defensive characters, uh, let me see, I'll probably give June the upper hand on the defense department, cause she can crush like Zephina, well probably not as much as Zephina. Uh, she has a magic four, she has a counter, and those two things that Zafina lacks. Uh, I, I don't know about her movement. I'm using a pad, so my movement's not gonna look that good. <laughs> um, Let me see. She can crouch dash, but it's kind of it's kind of uh, weird compared to how other characters do it. She can do it this way, or she can do it this way. So let me get into the issues of fighting against June. Now June can be a real threat against Zephina if you're not careful. If you're a careful Zephina player then you're probably going to give June a hard time because June well she won't hesitate to you know interrupt reckless mistakes and strings and whatnot. Thanks to this move right here. This move is faster than you think. This move has a slow start up, but in the middle of some of Zephina's strings, she can interrupt. You can like do something and try to start an offense and this move just cuts right through her strings. And it's also a great whip punisher. I don't really know the range of it. Looks like she takes a step forward. Yeah, her, um, her right leg goes all the way up. <laughs> From looking at how far back it is. Okay, uh, another move you want to look out for is this no not this this right here this probably be the best counter in the game tied to Oscar but what makes her di her counter different from Oscar is that she can tag out when she uh gets a counter unlike uh Oscar she can extend hers to like 12 more seconds or something. <laughs> uh, nah, I'm kind of exaggerating with the 12 second thing, but Austin do have a crazy extension. Uh, one thing about Zafina versus June, notice that Zafina is one of the eight characters that doesn't have anything other than limb attacks so Zafina is very easy to counter I believe I mentioned this before but just in case I'll reiterate she she's very easy to counter like mm, the taekwondos the laws uh, I will say the Williams sisters but 
Anna has been given a new move, the forward three. So she's she probably has something to fight against counters now. And Nina will hold I think Rao Rising Three. I think that's the move that I'm looking for. Where she like rises up and counter hits into a grab. I think that is it counterable. I remember Tekken Zaibasu have a a a chart where they have like a list of characters who can counter and who can counter certain moves and who couldn't and they labeled them like X's and O's and I think the O's represent they could counter that move and the X represent that they could not. Okay, uh, I wonder that chart still up there because I've been looking for that chart since Tekken 6 came back. Mm. Well, not came back, but came into existence. Okay, enough about counters. Chicken. You might want to practice chicken. Chicken probably one of the hardest things to uh, master because the timing is very strict. And half the time when you just be fighting, you don't be expecting it to come. It just happen as a surprise and if you don't have your button set to 1-3 or 2-4 then you're gonna not have an easy time getting out of it but just in case you can like hold the button to get ready to buffer but our mind doesn't function like that when we're just trying to fight to win <laughs> okay but I'm gonna get to the crouch dash. Uh, let me see. She can crouch dash into. Okay, this is the move I was looking for. And I usually do this a lot, but I don't intend to do it because it usually happens by accident. Because I'm usually trying to do this grab as it's as it coming out right now. It, she does this low. I'm terrible at it on this side. Uh, okay, here we go. And you're gonna see a lot of it. So you're gonna, you might gonna freeze a lot. So I'm gonna see that uh, if there's a way around it, no matter how the mix-up is. Can you avoid it? Let me get over here. And what else she has? Okay. If you block this move right here, it's large punishable. She might get a hop kick. Yep, she gets a hop kick. But I'll probably just stick with this. I know the hop kick is more powerful, but for some reason I can't hardly find a hop kick combo that stronger than this. Let me see. Okay, see if we can sidestep that. Okay, I can sidestep to my right. Okay, it's sidestepable. But for some strange reason, these moves be nailing the shit out of me when I'm trying to sidestep online. And not just this move. Okay, so I guess you can sidestep the grab. Oh, come on, I escaped it. 
You gotta push it too early or what? And this is a double arm break. There won't be any uh, need for June to mix these throws up because she's going to be looking for this combo. I doubt uh, she'll be able to sidestep this low. You probably have to be already on the move. In most fighting games, nothing is guaranteed. So if it happens, don't expect it to happen again. All right. Cause what else June can probably throw out? Oh yeah, this right here. This move here is pretty annoying. Usually when you try to rush down June or Oscar, and this move always bails them out. How can she combo with that? But this move here, it's a key move, so I wouldn't really rush against June. I probably would let her come to me because if I go to her, then this move is going to come out most likely. So I probably wouldn't do a move that forces her to crouch. So look, what move does Athena have that forces her to crouch? It doesn't matter because I wouldn't be able to test it out. I'm going to need a second player behind the stick. Uh, <clears throat> anything else I'm leaving out before I go on? Mm. <clears throat> okay, she got stand, uh, she got stances and transition, which means she has moves that goes into her stance. So the number one thing that you're going to look out for is this right here. And she she's going to sidestep. She can sidestep from this. I wonder can she... No, she can't go to either stance, but she can sidestep. But I know this can go into a stance. I probably have to push the input button too. Yeah, I have to push the button. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this move right here gets her a two out of three. She can counter lows and she can counter, well, I ain't gonna say a two out of three, but it's a double factor. She can counter grabs and she can counter lows. So if you're anticipating a grab, well if she's anticipating one of your grabs, she's going to use this because I think this is more powerful than a grab escape or, no nah, I wouldn't say a launcher, but it, it will give her, I think 40 points. If I'm not mistaken, I think I've seen 40 points uh, before. <clears throat> and this stands here is high, it's fast, so I wouldn't attack immediately when I see her do this. I would probably just keep blocking or see what she's uh, going to do. It's best to see what she's going to do first. Because this move right here, no, nah, I thought it was this move. But this move, 
does share that share that same mold. Can it be stopped? Oh fuck. How did I get that jab out the first time? <laughs> it's not happening anymore. It's not happening anymore. It showed that it was uh, floatable. But now I can't do it. Let's see, can we sidestep? Yeah, you can sidestep that. I think it tracks to her right. Well, to your right. Because I cannot go to the right. Because I'm always getting hit. But I'll sidestep to the left. I think that's her weak spot. too soon. Let's see, can she interrupt with a move? Nope. Nope. I think the jab is the only thing that can stop it. But well, even that is hard. I probably had no business getting that jab out. Let me get some distance. Whoa, this move got some range. I believe that was probably what happened at first. Let me see if it, uh, let me let it hit me. Mm. That was probably the craziest idea I came up with. Okay. She has, what else? Okay, she can use this to launch it. I think it's more powerful than her hot kick anyway. Wait a minute. I guess not. Well, it's about the same. A counter hit hot kick is the same as her out rising. They say this, I mean, they say this low is extremely seeable, but if you're playing online, then you're probably not going to have enough time to react to it. Because I know I see a lot of these things and I try to react to it and I still get hit. not even connecting.
Mm. Okay, if you anticipate this move, let's see what you can do. Well, you can stop it. You can step it. <laughs> oh, wait a second. We got a delicate situation here. I mean, situation. Apparently, if you're looking to dodge this move, you can't step to her left. Zephina's left, that is. Okay, let's try her right. Oh no, you can't be serious. You can't be serious. This move tracks. Ah, oh, now she duck. Okay, there we go. You probably have to sidewalk instead of side stepping. Now she's still hitting me. I guess you had to practice on your timing. But whatever, I cannot get to her other side. Mm, now she's jumping. Well, important thing is we know that this move is interruptible, so we know it's at least 16 frame interruptible. Oh, shit, I got hit. There was no way I was going to stop that. Yep, 16 frames. Am I going too late? So I probably... Let me see. Yeah, I'll probably throw this move out if I'm expecting it to come. Here, this string right here is pretty dangerous. Because a June player, well, I hadn't seen any good June player do this, but me on the other hand, when, I, when I'm using June, I use this string right here to see if they're going to duck so I can throw this out. But I want to, you know, let it land where it can hurt. Probably up against the wall. So I wouldn't advise you to duck when uh, June does this. Because when you duck too many times, then you're probably setting yourself up for this. Okay, this move right here, this is a pressure move, meaning that uh, on hit, as you can see that it forces you to kneel, and on block, she's at advantage. I think plus four, let me look, my, my bet is four.
Is it five step three or four? Four. Okay. Uh, here we go. It's plus five. This movie plus five on block, so you. M Let's see. What's a good move she can use afterwards? I don't know her. Uh, I don't know June's attack strings. Her attack frames, my bad. Uh, let me see. Okay, let's try a 12 flame attack. sidestep that low. Whoa, that move is sidesteppable. I guess I got hit because I tried to launch it. Now I can launch it. Mm. Yeah, I think this is her strong side. Okay, so you can sidestep that move to the right. I guess it's all about luck on uh, when you're fighting against June. So if you're lucky, you'll sidestep the right direction. Because she always has some moves uh, with better properties than the other. Let me let it hit me, see I can uh Nah. <laughs> I tried to rise standing too. Okay. So I'm guessing this matchup is about luck. If it's on your side, you'll prevail. If not, you're doomed. Okay. What else June has before I move on? Oh yeah, this string right here. Goodness, it's, even the low does damage. So, whenever June does a move that puts her at Wild Rising, be on the lookout for this string right here. Especially out in the open. A June player is going to look for this move right here when your back is up against the wall. And this is when June is really going to have her way with you. So, if your back is up against the wall, and you see this string is coming. Just keep blocking. I'm going to see if it's punishable. I can look at the frame then. Mm. 
Is it? What's the command for it? No. All right, one four. Yeah, so that move is launch punishable. So if you block this move at the wall, the Fina can get a standing down forward too. She can't get a hop kick. I think a hop kick uh, is a frame late to punish you. What else? What else? What else? What else? I want to use a counter and tag out, but I don't see how I can uh, get that. Okay. Let's go down for move list. This looks like a string that uh taking players will use. For the first two, I mean the first string it jails. And the last part looks like it tracks. Okay, let me look at the let me look at that. <clears throat> it's one, two, four. Uh, this string is punishable by thirteen. So you can use a down one a down forward one string or three. Yeah, th this is pretty slick. High level people would tell you that this move is, uh, this low is unseeable. If a high level player tells you that, then most likely it is. So, you're probably going to have to expect this move to come out. Rather than, you know, wait to see. This move is large punishable, where the low is large punishable. But unfortunately, Zafina can't launch punish it. So Zafina gets a wild standing four. This move is wild standing 14. I think Zafina has nothing in between the gap of 11 and 15. This doesn't look like a string I would want to finish. Is it? Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't finish that string. No, I would definitely wouldn't finish this string. And I counted this late. Let me see. It's, what's that command for this move again? Never mind, I see it. There isn't a frame data on this uh, move, none whatsoever, on either string, but the first two hits. But looking at the frame data is pretty confusing. So let me figure this out for myself. Okay, on hit, it gives you plus seven. 
on block, he, well not you, he gives her a plus seven. On block, he gives her a negative six. So let me throw a punch out for you. No, that's not the move. But this is the only string that they have a frame data for. I'm trying to figure out something that that's not available to be seen on the chart. <clears throat> Let me see. No. Why well, keep doing that? Okay, let's see. This move is punishable by itself. Yeah, it's punishable. But you can't launch it. Does June have a 15 frame attack? I think it's probably 16. I don't know. Maybe this is 15. Okay, that was too late. Okay, 14 doesn't work. 13 doesn't work. Let me try it one more game. Okay, it's 12 frames. But if she decides to throw that last punch out, you can interrupt that with the move of your choice within the range of 17. Okay. I guess it's a lot of hard work when you're a high level player because you have to keep your eyes open for a, a lot of things. Oh, okay. A much faster attack. Oh, is it natural? I think it's a natural combo. You can't block anything if something hits you. Okay. Let me try to let the second hit hit me. Yeah, I think if the second hit uh, connects, it's natural. Mm, and she gets a pushback. You can't back one plus two with. Yeah, she'll get, she'll get roundhouse. But you can't down through this stream. Down three might be uh, a move you're gonna stick with if they're gonna mix it up with the high.
โอเคเหรอโอเคจะให้มีดหายโอ้ยยูโนว่าจะดูยูดอกจะหายโอเคเอาเอาว่าจะพูดเรื่องนี้ตอนนี้ได้ที่นี่ I almost forgot about it when I was on it the first time, where I did forget about it. This move is probably uh, the one move that's gonna force you to respect because you don't wanna, because you wanna play aggressive and you can't because she got this move for one that a counter hit you. It's an escapable stun. Wait a minute, I can, I can escape this gun both ways. I can hold forward or back. Yeah, so if you get hit, make sure you uh, attempt to standard block. Because if you just fall back, she can get a combo. And she'll wait till you fall and then she'll come in like this. Which probably be best for her to do. Because this right here is risky. Okay, here's the best way I know how to defend this move. Okay, what's she gonna do? Is it natural? Cause I could not duck. Oh my god, this string jails. This string jails. <laughs> you guys to be kidding me. Well, let me try to block it. I don't remember. Okay. So it's important that you block the first hit. So. If they finish this string, which most likely they're going to, then you can... Because it's a low high to two more highs and then a mid or a low. So you got enough time to think of a, a move that you want to hit her with. Well, that wasn't the move I was planning on hitting her with. I, mean, I guess I was too low on that sweep. I mean, too late. Okay, there we go. I thought that move would go under. Wow. Wow. If I had to go earlier, what? This move jails. I didn't even know that. Is she at frame advantage? Cause it feels like she's in advantage. Cause I couldn't even uh, throw a jab out. Oh, 
Hold on, let me try to block the punch. Okay, there we go. Okay, trade with her uh launcher. An no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, this, this string, I see this string going to be a problem. Okay, this is a Sabaki attack. Let me see. It looks like a Sabaki attack. Why is it not? Okay. I thought it was a Sabaki attack. It was on the count of mids or something. Oh, it kind of high. Yeah, this move is large punishable. Yeah, I think this move is negative 20. I think it's negative 20. You almost have enough time to uh, throw this move out. If it was negative 21, you could have. <laughs> yeah, I think I know what this move is. pressure to so you might want to see what they're going to do next if you block it the first time I know this move right here uh, gives her a frame advantage yeah this move here gives her a frame advantage This is a double arm break. Okay. No wonder I've been getting grabbed by this move. Okay, now she's not breaking. What the hell? She is not breaking. Okay, this is some bull. I know June players would throw this move out. Put it down for two. Down for two squares. 
Okay, this move at 14 frame punishable. So you're going to get this move if you block it. You should get this move. Oh, crap. So you're not going to get this move. So this move is not 14 frame punishable. So how punishable is this move? So it's 13 frame punishable. Yeah, this move is 13 frame punishable. I don't know why the chart said 14. They might want to fix that. Let me try it again. Maybe I'm slow on reaction or something. Nope, it's not me. Now, this move is pretty annoying. <laughs> this kind of looks like a uh, low forward forward. Um, low attack I think it's forward 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 what's that for I think this move is safe yeah it's safe it's a uh, negative okay <clears throat> oh, that was down four three. Down four three. Yeah, you, I consider it safe because of a pushback. I don't even think Jax could punish it. Uh, what's the next move on the list? Down two. So this move is safe. It's negative four. So you might gonna expect a side step after this attack. Let's see. She's not sidestepping. It's catching her. Even it's catching her. Oh, she can sidestep that move. Or not. Let me try a different method. Ah. Ah. This is going to be a pain. I know what. Oh, she still go that way. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, 
Oh, it's not natural. Is it launch punishable? You cannot neutral guard that second hit. Of course it is. <laughs> Uh, why I keep doing that? I want to see something because I remember trying to sidestep this move and it always catches me. So taking old me a lot of explanation of why I'm losing the genes and devil. Well, I can probably understand devil gene because. Well, I, I really don't. I still don't. I know Devil Gen uh, Can Can is a different property. It's not low, high, it's mid, mid. So maybe it has a tracking uh, on it. But this is June. And I've been getting hit by Hurricane Cans and Jeans. I think Jeans is the same. And I'm. And I've been losing matches because of that. If you can't sidestep it or if you happen to sidestep it and it hits you, just block it. It's large punishable anyway. It's supposed to be large punishable. Hold up. Let me look at it. Back, down, back. Uh, where's the down? Where's the down? Where's the down? Here it is. Oh, they made it safe. This move is safe. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> this move is... Okay, so since June's can can is safe, I don't know about Oscars or Jean. Maybe theirs is launch punishable. But despite the fact that it's negative 8, June next option probably going to be a side step. Did I say Gene? If I did, I meant June. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay, 10 frames. Or is it 11? Uh, it's 11 frames. Okay, so this is the safer version. Could she do that on the first one, on the other one? Nope. This is a pretty good move. This move is good. Hey, this is a <clears throat> this is a ninja's name. Anybody play Tenchu? The first one. <clears throat> yeah, 
This looks seeable, but at the same time it looks deceiving. Oh wait a second. So she can't get this move. No. No. <clears throat> okay. I was wondering. They can't be making these riskier moves safe like they did Paul. Okay. No way. Uh, 15. Well, 15 frame launcher can catch it. I guess you got to be on point with it. I think it's only 15 frames. Let me check. Is it down back? Down back what? Down back three? Yeah, it's 15. That's all you can get on that move. But don't let this move catch your own counter hit. <clears throat> Maybe I should uh, bring in Junior. Yeah, this is a good string. But I want to know if that string right there in particular is good. Is it back two one one? Okay, that move there is nice punishing. Me. So you would only finish it. I mean, you would only. Well, how can I put this? This move will only be, uh, you know, finished if you manage to, like, start throwing jabs and stuff. Stopping her to side, stopping her from sidestepping left or right. So you're gonna resort her to finish this string. Okay, this move right here. Cause I know wait, 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 wait. I know this move is uh <clears throat> is one move people use at the beginning of a round. <clears throat> if there's a way I can punish that move. Well let me look at the frame data first. Yeah, yeah, this move is punishable by far. That's not the move I'm looking for. Where is it? There it is. Oh, she can't make it. 
Maybe if her back was up against the wall, she could get it. I'm gonna have to try with her back up against the wall. All right. I thought I was almost finished with this. Ah, oh, she's backing away. There we go. Okay, what's next? This is another key move. Uh, just notice that this move has an extension. You can't interrupt it. If you try so, you will get knocked down, face down, feet away. Ooh, this is a nasty looking move. Like she elbows you in the gut twice. Is that an elbow or a forearm? Let me see. Forward, forward, two square. Let me see. Forward, forward, two. This move is large punishable. Zafina can get a down forward, two, but not a hop kick. This move used to be large punishable in Tekken 6. Uh, I think they made it safer. This move is is shown to be 13 frames. Let me uh, test that out. <coughs> I'm not getting it. <clears throat> this move is not 13 frames. It's not 12. This move is safe. <laughs> Damn. The frame data lied to me. And I'm looking at it online. Oh, 
I think this move acts like Nina's, um, what's that move called? Bad Habit? I think that's what it's called. I think, um, she probably can get a combo out of that. But is it a good move to use or spam? Let me check. The frame data is all over the place. It's not telling me anything. I guess we'll have to find out. for impunishable <clears throat> I can get 13 frames I can get 14 frames let's try 15 <clears throat> uh, oh, that's what it looks like on counter hit <clears throat> Okay, that's not 15. Does she even have a 15 frame attack? Mm. Mm. Up forward 4. Up 4 4 is not even in a damn command. Oh, yes it is. Up forward 4 is 16. Is down forward two is fifteen. Down forward two is fourteen. And I'm still not getting it. No, it's seventeen. I think the closest to a fifteen frame attack she has is forward three. Let's look for another down four. <clears throat> down four is fifteen frames. Mm. So it's not fifteen frames. So it's fourteen frames. So the fender can get a knockdown on uh off this move. It looks like she's kind of drunk and she's trying to grab something. Okay, this move is safe. Probably not by much. So if she does this move and you block it, she probably can't do anything else but block. So it's a full forward, uh, double, no it's not double, forward forward, I don't know, it's not telling me anything. We're going to have to find out.
Okay, I think it's 15 frames punishable. Okay, it's stopping that. It's stopping this move right here because it's low. Oh my god, I'm getting hit. Yeah, I, I think uh, because it's low, it's not gonna. Uh, it should trade if it is 15 frames. But I'm trying to see where where the trade gonna start. Okay, so it's at least 16 frames probably. I'm going to give it 16 frames. Oh, crap. So up against the wall of the phenom. Okay, she can fight out of it. So it's probably 15, either 15 or 14. Oh crap. Okay, stopping this move right here. Oh, come on, stop getting hit. Yeah, it's 14. No, it's not 14. I need a character with a 14 frame attack. Not 14, but 15. Alright, that was a counter. I want to say 16 because this move is a really unfair move because it, it crushes high. So, with this move, I won't be able to tell. Okay, what's the next move? Okay, that probably about wraps things up with June. While crouching, while rising. This movie safe. Once again, this is another June one-way tracking move. I wonder if she has any move that track both ways. Well, of course she does. <laughs> I can. I just thought of some. Size step. Okay, that's ten frames, twelve frames. But well, I can just look at. It might be wrong. Let me uh keep going. Most likely twelve frames. <clears throat> Did it say twelve frames on the guard? I mean on the guy. With a side step, uh, side step, side step. 
Yes. Which way though? Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Are they telling me that this low move is a buying attack? Oh, oh I thought this move was low. <laughs> okay, never mind. I thought this move was low. <clears throat> yeah, I think I know what this string is. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Lead cutters. I think they're all useless. Because all you have to do is duck your own. Uh, yeah. You just duck those. Okay, so I, <clears throat> this is my first time seeing her come, but I already know where the low is coming. This doesn't even look like she's in. Let me. Hold on. No, that's not. That wasn't it. Okay, so it probably this gray up. Yeah. So now I see what I have to do to avoid that move from even hitting me. Nah. Uh, which grab was it? Okay, with that grab. <clears throat> so you just get up and block this move to avoid it. Hmm. And she was even landing in what you call it? Uncomfortable zone. What could be another move to use? Hmm. I think this grab here is going to create all kinds of opportunities. Okay, she can get a hit with this. Mm. Okay, that about do. Let me think of anything else that I could possibly left out. Holy shit! 
That's why it's important that you don't uh, duck at the wall when you're fighting against June because this move right here, you see how much damage they're getting? That's a Mishima combo. Well, let me try to get that uh, last hit to connect by itself. Okay, there we go. Talk about right here. Yeah, good thing I went low. What can what can I do with June at the wall as a end feeling? Okay, maybe I can do that. No, it's, it's not letting me uh, finish this whole thing. Is it a Okay, so June will have to do probably something less damaging or something. Uh, okay, that's it. Well, uh, I probably think of another character to do. I think I missed one whole week without doing one, and I'm trying to make up for it. Uh, I'm thinking about doing Fang Wei, but Fang Wei has a lot of setups, so if I can, if I can like remember them all, then I can like do him sooner no homo uh i think that i think that's about to do it